Hey there, fabulous listeners! Get ready for an electrifying episode as we dive into the world of international trade and micro-enterprises. We've got a powerhouse team for you today. It's MMDC Network, the team Violet, and we're here to discuss some exciting developments. I'm your host, Klein, and buckle up because we're about to chat with the folks from Tojo Motors, the go-getters in the global automotive industry specializing in electric vehicles. Now, let's talk shop, or should I say charge stations. Tojo Motors, hailing all the way from Laguna, Philippines, has a game-changing plan. They're looking to transform their warehouse into a charging and swapping station. And they've got their eyes set on a fleet of over 200 e-jeepneys. It's time to bring the power of EVs to the masses. So without further ado, Let's give a warm welcome to the fantastic Fosan from Tojo Motors, Aaron, Annie, Kate, and John. Thanks a million, Clyde. We're amped up to be here to share our electrifying journey with your amazing audience. Now let's make some sparks fly. All right, Aaron, that's some great insight into Tojo Motors' competitive edge. Now let's turn our attention to the bigger picture. Annie, what's the secret sauce? What can Tojo Motors do that the competition just won't or can? Well, Klein, let me tell you. It's all about the environment and the future. Our world is in dire need of a green revolution to combat pollution and climate change. We're not just talking about local success. We're looking at the global stage. The growth of electric vehicles, both domestically and internationally, is a surefire way to tackle environmental issues. If we succeed in expanding our reach and trading abroad, we can contribute significantly to building a healthier ecosystem. Our mission aligns perfectly with the government's goal to achieve carbon neutrality, making us a part of the solution to environmental challenges. In fact, we're all in for this change, which not only helps the planet, but also boosts our business. We're dedicated to keeping our vehicles in tip-top shape. Periodic maintenance is a mess to prevent unexpected hiccups, costly repairs, and most importantly, ensure safety. Our employees receive extensive training to provide top-notch service to our customers. We're all about sharing the electric vehicle love with our stakeholders and drivers. Our on-site training covers everything from theory to hands-on knowledge, along with tips and tricks to save the planet and some cash. That's fantastic, Annie. It's not just about business, but about creating a better future for all. And I could not agree more. Transitioning to electric vehicles could be a game changer for our country, saving us from the ever-rising fossil fuel crisis. Our government should definitely consider investing in this transformation for the sake of our nation and the environment. You're absolutely right, Paul. By leading the way with electric vehicles, we can inspire other countries to follow suit. With our country having just 1% market share in the automotive industry, we're prime real estate for big investors eye in the Asian market. It's not just a big business move. It's a step forward. It's a step towards a greener and more sustainable future. All right, Kate, you've just shared how Tojo Motors is playing the international trade game with a clear advantage. Now, let's dig deeper into this exciting journey. Tell us, what's your, what's your ace in the hole when it comes to international trade? Well, Klein, it's all about riding the wave of opportunity with a little help from our friend Atiga, the ASEAN Trade in Goods Agreement, with this trade pack. Tojo Motors can enjoy the free flow of goods within the ASEAN region, which is a crucial step in establishing our products in the market. Since our production base is right here in our beloved Philippines, this paves the way for deeper economic integration. ASEAN is like the cornerstone of our country's foreign and trade policies, and it opens up a treasure trove of business opportunities. Here's the kicker. The Philippines has just a 1% market share in the automotive industry. But 
Don't count us out just yet. We're tech savvy, resourceful, and full of potential. Big investors from countries like the United States, Japan, Russia, and the United Kingdom are eyeing Asia and the Philippines is one of the rising stories. Tojo Motors is one of the select few companies here focusing on electric vehicles. We're pioneering the way in our nation and we believe that the trading abroad is the ticket to taking our business to the next level. Absolutely, Kate. Atiga and ASEAN are our trusty allies and they are open up a world of possibilities for emerging businesses like Tojo Motors. The Philippines is a land of potential and we've got all the right ingredients for success. It's not just about our local markets, it's about becoming a global player. Now, let's talk about the nitty gritty, the challenges that every business faces. What hurdles and risks is Tojo Motors currently navigating? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to buckle up and get ready for a thrill ride with Tojo Motors. We're not just another car company. We're here to revolutionize the game with a twist of technology and a sprinkle of creativity. You see, we're challenging the norm in the automotive industry by embracing the latest tech in our electric vehicles. Gone are the days of traditional public transportation. We're making way for a tech-savvy future. Our mission is to crystal clear. We're all about providing clean, safe, and supercharged electric vehicles that'll set the stage for a brighter tomorrow. But here's the thing, folks. Pulling off a project like this isn't just about fancy cars and cool gadgets. It takes a budget. It takes government approval. And most importantly, it takes being the change you want to see in the world. We need to lead the change. Quite literally, by integrating electric vehicles into public transportation, starting right here in our homeland. You've hit the nail on the head, John. The future is electric, and I have no doubt your company is on the fast track to success. So tell me, how do you plan to overcome these challenges and pave the way for electric vehicle dominance? Great question, Karan. It's all about teamwork, and we've got a global ally in our country. The WTO, the World Trade Organization. With their support, we can ensure that our trade with other countries flows as smoothly as hot knife through butter, predictable and freely. That's how we plan to gather potential investors and open up international trade routes to showcase our unique automotive products and accessories. We're not just here for ourselves. We're here to support our country and government in contributing to the global market while also doing our part for the environment. It's a win-win-win, and we're ready to take the world by storm. All right, folks, let's explore the uncharted territory of potential hiccups and risks as Tojo Motors gears up for international trade. It's all part of the adventure. Annie, what possible hurdles or risks do you foresee on this thrilling journey? Well, Klein, you're absolutely right. Tojo Motors is like a rookie in the international trade game. We haven't exported our products and services abroad before, but hey, that's what makes it exciting, right? As Kate and Aaron mentioned earlier, we've got some mighty allies in our corner, the Atiga and ASEAN, that will help us market our products. Now, there's always a bit of uncertainty when you're charting new waters, but we're all set to deal with any carvels that come our way. We've got a budget ready. We've got our mass transit plans. And we're backed by the government, which is like our ultimate support system. We're all in to follow the rules and cater to the needs of every country we trade with. Plus, we've got our trusty friend, the WTO, to ensure smooth sailing in the international trade seas. You got it, Annie. It's all about embracing the adventure. And I have no doubt you're well prepared. Now, speaking of responsibilities. Participating in international trade agreements can bring about some amazing changes, right? Take free trade agreements, for example. They're all about breaking down the barriers between countries, like tariffs, quotas, subsidies, and bonds. And then there's the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, which sounds pretty fancy, but, but it's all about removing tariffs and production costs 
it's like a win-win for everyone, especially businesses like Tojo Motors. All right, let's continue our accelerating journey into the world of international trade and how it all fits together for Tojo Motors. So John, tell us, do you believe these ITAs can be a game changer for Tojo Motors on the international stage? Why or why not? Absolutely, Klein. These ITAs are like the golden ticket to the international trade extravaganza. They're all about comprehensive negotiations and high levels of tariff liberalization. We're talking about potentially getting rid of tariffs on a huge chunk of products and trade value. This isn't just about trades, it's about making the world a greener, better place. The scheduling of tariff assignments is where the magic happens. It's like a carefully choreographed dance that makes the benefits of regional economic integration even more enticing. For Tojo Mothers, it means government support, promoting climate change awareness, attracting foreign investors, and of course, shining a spotlight on our amazing electric vehicles. It's a win-win-win for everyone, and it's a win for the environment too. Well said, John. It's not just about business. It's a positive impact on the world. Now, let's talk about something practical. Kate, do you think these international agreements can address the potential risks and limitations that Tojo Motors might, might face on its international trade journey? You bet, Klein. When it comes to international trade, we've got to be prepared for a few curveballs. Like non-payment or delayed deliveries, it's all part of the game. But one is up, our sleeve is leveraging a letter, letter or credit. It's like the secret handshake of international trade. With this, vendors can secure full payment or a fair percentage up front before they hand over the goods. So... Yes, these international agreements can definitely help Tojo Motors tackle potential risks head-on and keep the gears of business turning smoothly. Brilliant, Kate. It's all about being prepared and having the right tools in your trade toolkit. Now, let's talk about the exciting possibilities with ASEAN countries. Kate, can Tojo Motors really make a splash in the trade, uh, free trade market in ASEAN? What do you think? You got it, Klein. Tojo Motors is poised for an epic adventure in the free trade market within ASEAN countries. ASEAN has done some remarkable work in reducing trade barriers through initiatives like the ASEAN Free Trade Area or the AFTA. That means we could potentially enjoy reduced tariffs and special treatment when we're doing business in the region. What's more, ASEAN has ink-free trade agreements with partners outside the region, giving us an even broader stage to shine on. But here's the thing, we need to keep in mind that each member state still has its unique regulations and compliance challenges. We've got to do our homework, stay updated, and be smart about how we navigate the trade waters. A massive shout out to Trim Violet for sharing this wisdom on international trade and localized Amazon. You've been an epic guest today. All of you have provided fantastic information today. To our awesome listeners out there, remember, international trade is like a treasure chest filled with opportunities and a few dragons to slay. Being in the known and ready for action is your secret weapon. That's a wrap for the electrifying episode of MMDC Network, the team Violet. We hope you found this discussion informative and healthy. Join us next time as we continue to explore the world of international trade. Until then, stay tuned and stay curious.